Happy Father's Day, everyone. So it's June 15th, it's Father's Day. So I thought I'd, uh, I'd talk about my dad. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, I wanna tell a couple defining moments, a couple memories that I have about him. Um, one of the earliest memories I have of my dad uh, was when we were living in Boulder, Colorado. That's where I was born. We lived there till I was two. And this is one of the first memories that ever sticks out in my head. Um, we had um, a townhouse, as I remember it, and it, was, it had stairs in it. So I remember running down the stairs and turning what I believe was to the right where there was a bathroom. And uh, my, my father's in there shaving or getting ready, something like that. I just remember running in there, seeing him and then looking, and we had a goldfish on the counter and I yelled at the goldfish for some reason like he could hear me. And then I just remember talking to my dad and uh, watching him get ready for work or shave or whatever it was he was doing. I just remember him being there and just me talking to him and asking him a lot of questions. And I think I remember getting the hiccups I was eating a cucumber slice at the time, so for a while as a young kid I always associated hiccups with cucumbers for that reason, but that's one of my first memories of my dad. And um, then some of my fondest memories uh, as a little kid with my father was, um, <clears throat> sorry about the dryer noise, um, was when uh, he, would, he worked in the theater and I remember he took me to Third Street Theater and he was, he was the set designer and, and the technical director and all that. And I remember just being on the set and it was this big white set and it had a, a balcony. And I remember going up there and just running around on it and just being on the balcony and, and I had a, a Cabbage Patch Kid and down below there was a fountain and it was full of blue liquid, like not just like water, but like blue, blue liquid. And I remember I wanted to throw my Cabbage Patch Kid off the balcony into the water. And I remember vocalizing that desire and my, my father being like, don't you dare, you know? Um, and then I actually have another memory of my, my father working at the Herberger. And I remember being, um, Herberger Theater, I remember being in the pit and there was some massive thing that turned, at least I think it was the Herberger, but I remember being underneath the set and it was this big turntable that my, my, my father had constructed in our backyard at the time. And I remember he was just, he was spinning it. And I was in there just like, what? And uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a fun memory too. Um, other than that, uh, my father is the reason I got into to theater and entertainment in the first place. My first job actually as a 16 year old was a light board operator at Phoenix Theater. And uh, I owe that job to my dad because he was the set designer um, of the season before I started. And they said, we need a light board operator. And my dad said, well, my son just turned 16, so I'll send him in here. And that's exactly what happened. I went in there, I went in the theater, and I was kind of like an intern for a little bit. <clears throat> Basically, they, they took the manual for the, for the light board and were like, read it. I was like, okay. So I read it, learned how to use the light board just via the manual. And they said, there's a light board over there, go mess with it. So I did, I played with it and learned a ton of things. Um, and learned what gel was and how to, to file it and sort it. Learned how to use the, the fogger and the hazer and, and just learned all kinds of things there. And then we got a shipment of the Source 4 lip photo reflector spotlights. And uh, basically it was in a whole bunch of pieces and they said, put them together. Okay, so I read the manual, put them together and worked there for on and off two years, or two or three years. Um, and then got promoted in a sense to master electrician there. And uh, yeah, so that's that's how I got started in that, and I still do it every now and then, off and on, uh, in my free time. I have dabbled in tech support, and and now I have a degree in graphic design, and now I'm opening up a restaurant. But I loved my time in the theater, and that was always one of the greatest things, and I owe it all to my dad. So uh, there's my Father's Day story for you. Happy Father's Day! I hope you guys all tell your father how much you love them, and. Um, that you appreciate the time you've had with them. I certainly appreciate the time I have with mine. Certainly, definitely appreciate my father. Um, so, thanks for watching and have a good day.